Okay, we're here at the uh, head end control, and uh, as you can see, we're using the standard IE browser, and uh, I've already typed in the uh, IP address, and uh, we're going to go into the demo. Now, keep in mind, folks, that this is a demo; it is not on an actual head end system. Um, we've we've built a uh, demo in our office, and the bandwidth is not all that great coming out of our office, so. Okay, now we're up to the uh, to the main page, and on the main page you can see it uh, gives you the property listing, uh, gives you the uh, user, which is myself, and uh, we have uh, video, which the bouncy box. Down below we have the uh, tune button, which will allow us to tune to uh, whichever channel uh, we would like to view that is actually on the head end system itself. Okay, down below that we have a remote control which uh, uh, will allow us to control the receiver that we're actually tuned to. So let's uh, let's tune down here, and uh, I know this particular channel happens to be channel 500, and uh, we're going to go ahead and tune to 500, and uh, we want to fix that uh, that bouncy box there, so we're going to. Uh, hit uh, the uh, remote control. Uh, keep in mind folks the video is on a time delay because of the uh, bandwidth issue. Um, if you uh, look at the remote control functions we have uh, reboot, soft off, soft on, um, channel up, channel down, and uh, the set channel. Um, on this particular receiver, we're going to uh, we're going to do a reboot. We're going to uh, hit the execute button, and on this particular execution, we're going to realize we're going to get an error message because it's not sending any uh, message back from the receiver to let us know that it's actually happened. So it's going to give us a communication error to let us know that it didn't uh, something didn't work. However, it is working. You can see on the video below, the receiver has reset, and uh, and uh, we're going to close this out, and we're going to wait for that receiver to uh, come back up. Um, I happen to know that this receiver is not on uh, is not on the proper channel, so we're going to have to go back in and uh, and fix that. In fact, I think we'll go over to um, receiver status. Um, and we'll just kind of go through here from here. Now if we look at uh, the receiver status, it's going to give us our head in lineup, uh, the channel that the DirecTV receiver should be on, the DirecTV receiver uh, actual channel, um, and it's going to give us our signal level and our COM port status, which COM port status basically means the connection to the uh, receiver. Okay. Now if I look down here at DirecTV Showcase channel 500, I can see that it's actually on 502, so I'm going to need to change that. So I'll go over to the signal percentage, and I'm going to click on signal, and it's going to bring me back to that particular channel in the receiver. So now I can view it. I know that it's coming up. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to hit the, as you can see, service not activated. So we're going to hit the remote control, and we want to put that back on channel 500. So we're going to go to 500, and we're going to uh, hit execute. Now on this particular execution, when you punch this one in, it will give you an, uh, an, a confirmation command completed. So that way you will see it change the channel here in just a momentarily. And it goes back to channel 500 and it goes back to the DirecTV showcase. Okay, let's go down to uh, let's say channel 12. We'll hit the tune button and I happen to know that this one is off also. I've, uh, I've set it to uh, channel 104 uh, just to, for demo purposes only. And uh, again, we're supposed to be on uh, head end channel, which would be channel 54, and the call letters for that channel. And uh, the DirecTV channel is supposed to be on channel 12, and it's a D11 receiver. 
So we're going to uh, we're going to uh, hit the remote control button, and we're going to go up to set channel, and we're going to punch in the correct channel that it should be on, and we're going to click execute. And that will give us a command completed, and we can close out the box. Now momentarily we should see it switch over to channel 12 and um, we should be able to uh, watch TV. Okay, now let's go over to uh, administration and in the administration there we can add channels and uh, and remove channels on our head and, and uh, add and remove receivers. So if we had to change a D10 receiver, we would uh, click on the edit and we would change this to a D11 so that the uh, head end control would uh, know how to uh, talk back and forth to the receiver. Um, we can go to uh, user database. In the user database it will allow you to add who you need to to the uh, your technicians or uh, administrators to the um, head end control. Um, we can go back to uh, users online and of course it's myself which is junior and it gives you the IP address that they've come in on and uh, the uh, what pages that they're actually on at the, at the moment. So we can go back to administration um, and again here's where we uh, add and remove uh, channels and uh, if we wanted to walk a line up. We can actually do all that via remote. Um, and that's about it, folks. Um, we can go back to uh, here and uh, return to live TV and uh, log off.